Hey guys, this is Kayla with Becky's Graphic Design in Nashville, Tennessee. Today I want to show you a wonderful script called Trista DPI. Um, this script will do lots of wonderful things, but today we are going to focus on just the unembed images portion of the script. Oftentimes when we receive a manuscript from an author, if it has images in it, those images will come in as embedded images, meaning they are placed into that book manuscript, and that is where they live. They are not properly linked in as InDesign would like them to be. Often what we must do is open up that Word document and then save out each image from the Word document or have already imported that manuscript into InDesign you can unembed the links from there. Now it's not a very big deal if you have a short document like this one, but if I had a multi hundred page document, I would not want to manually unembed those links for each and every one. And let me show you in my links panel, you can see that this icon indicates that it is an embedded link. This image is properly linked in, it is living in a file folder somewhere and not inside the document. Okay, so why don't we just highlight each one of these and then tell InDesign to unembed the link, in which case it will give me the option to save it in a specified folder of my choosing. This is fine. However, if you notice, if I highlight more than one of these entries and one of them happens to be a properly linked image, then that option is no longer there. I can no longer unembed the links. So in the instance of a document containing hundreds of links, it becomes a chore to unembed them. So now let's look at our script. If you're not familiar with scripts, don't worry. It's just like adding an additional feature to InDesign that it didn't initially have. Some smart programmer somewhere has written the code. All you need to do is utilize it. If you're not sure what a script is or how to use one or install one, look at this link here where I explain in another video how to use them and how wonderful they are. At the same time, I will add a description for this script and a link for it in this video's description. I'm going to open up my scripts panel. If you can't find yours, look for it under Window, Utilities, and Scripts. I'm going to scroll to the bottom of my script list and look for Trista DPI in Design to Photoshop. This is the script we will be utilizing today. The script is really smart, has a lot of fail safes in it. It wants me to save my file before beginning. And now, there is a whole lot of options here in this script. If you'll notice, there's only one image showing in the script column here. This is because that is the only linked image in the document. The Embedded images do not show here. There is one wonderful little option that we can utilize for this, however. All we need to do is switch the scripts function from prepress workflow to unembed images. Now you'll notice my two embedded images are showing in the column above. I'm going to double check my settings here at the bottom. I'm utilizing just the active document. And to run the script, I'm going to click enter on my keyboard. Here the script explains that those embedded images can become linked images in a couple of different ways. One option is to put all of those embedded images into one folder. Another way it can do it is to separate them by chapters. Say you had multiple InDesign documents. One document was called chapter one and another document was called chapter two. You could separate the images via chapter. However, we only have one document, so we really only get one choice. We're gonna put ours into one folder. Now the script will ask me where I would like to put my images. Uh, for the purpose of this illustration, I am simply going to put them in my downloads. Now when we double check in my downloads folder, we can see these two JPEGs living in this folder. Here is the bowl and here is the unicorn. When we go back to our InDesign document, we can see now in our links panel that those images are no longer embedded and they have now become proper linked images. 
Okay, everybody, I hope you found this helpful. If you would like to learn more about the Trista DPI script, which does much more than what we just did with it, check out this video. Also, why are you not subscribed? Everybody go ahead and subscribe. Look at the graph. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. Just do it. All right, everybody. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.